friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Air Fryer series. These two recipes were so incredibly easy and so good. So we are going to be having a Chinese fake out recipe and we're also going to be having a popcorn shrimp recipe. So if you want some fantastic recipe ideas for your air fryer that are not only absolutely delicious, but WW friendly, then all you have to do is keep watching. So for our first air fryer recipe, we are going to be having air fryer Chinese fake out sweet and sour pork. This sounds so good. I have been craving Chinese food, so I wanted to see what I could recreate in my air fryer. That's WW friendly. So let me show you what is in our Chinese fake out sweet and sour pork. So first you're going to need some eggs. I'm actually out of eggs, I know. It's a sin on WW. So I'm gonna have to use liquid egg whites. You'll need some sesame oil, salt and pepper, Chinese five spice, cornstarch or potato starch, and pork of some sort. So I opted for pork tenderloin because it's a lot less points than any other kind of pork. And then we're gonna make our own sweet and sour sauce because sweet and sour sauce is extremely high in points because it's full of sugar. So we're gonna make our own using stevia in the raw or any other sugar substitute. No sugar added ketchup, soy sauce, rice vinegar, there is some salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. And then I'm going to cook what's left here of my jasmine rice in my instant pot. And we're gonna serve that with a side of soy katash from Trader Joe's. Love this vegetable blend. It is soybeans or edamame, corn, and red peppers. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do is get our pork cut up. So first you're going to make sure that you are cutting off any of the visible fat off of your tenderloin. There shouldn't be too much because it is a tenderloin, but you do wanna make sure that you're cutting off all of the visible fat. And then we are also going to cut this into good sized chunks, same size as you would see in a Chinese restaurant. So good sized chunks of pork. I'm gonna put them here in this bowl and then we'll move on to the next step.
Next, we're going to take another bowl and we are going to add in our one cup of cornstarch. The recipe actually called for two cups, but I think we can get away with one and save quite a lot of points. We're also going to add in some ground black pepper. And again, you're gonna wanna add the salt and pepper to your liking. It does call for about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then for salt, it asks for a half of a teaspoon of salt. So you can just go ahead and add it to your taste buds. We're also going to add in our Chinese five spice and the recipe calls for 1 16th of a teaspoon. So literally a shake of the Chinese five spice. Note to self, check your lids. So we've got a little extra Chinese five spice. So don't think that's really gonna make that much of a difference. So then you're gonna wanna go ahead and just stir to combine the cornstarch with your salt, pepper, and a dash for you of Chinese five spice. Next, in a separate bowl, you're gonna go ahead and add two eggs, or in my case, two egg whites. And then we're also going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. This is optional in the recipe, but I would highly encourage it. It has such a wonderful flavor and just really gives that nice flavor to your dish. So we're just gonna go ahead and beat together our eggs and our sesame oil. Next, we're ready to bread our pork. So I have my air fryer sheet here, pan, that goes into my air fryer. I did spray this with non-stick cooking spray. And you are going to take a piece of your pork, and first you're going to put it into the cornstarch, shake off any extra, put it into the egg, and then put it back into the cornstarch mixture. And then you're going to put it either into your air fryer basket or in my case, onto my air fryer rack. And we're just going to repeat that until all of our pieces of pork are nice and breaded. is officially in the air fryer. It looks and smells delicious. So you're going to set your air fryer at 340 and you want this to go eight to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna start it at 12. I can always check it and take it out if it's done. Hit the light and you can actually see here in my air fryer when your food is cooking. So that's kind of a cool feature. And then what I have here is one cup of rice with one and a half cups of water. And I'm just gonna cook that in my instant pot while we're waiting. So I'm just gonna hit the rice button for 10 minutes, allow it to natural release, and you have perfect rice every time. So rice and air fryer sweet and sour pork is on. While our air fryer is going and our rice is cooking, we're gonna make our sweet and sour sauce. So the first thing we are going to add is one half of a cup of sugar substitute. So I'm using the stevia in the raw. We're going to add five tablespoons of no sugar added ketchup. And I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I didn't actually measure it out. And then we're also going to add one half of a cup of rice wine vinegar. And we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Yum. And then lastly, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder recipe calls for about a half of a teaspoon and then we're going to add a little bit of sea salt about a quarter of a teaspoon and then we're going to put this on the stove and let this work and simmer for five or six minutes until it's nice and thick so i just pulled the air fried pork you guys despite the little bit of white of the cornstarch this looks so good it is so incredibly crispy here is our sweet and sour sauce yum and then our rice so let me get this plated up and i'll show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points so here is the completed air fryer chinese fake out sweet and sour pork so this is one sixth of the pork and that is a total of five smart points and that includes the sauce and then one half of a cup of rice is three Smart points, I have some veggies here for zero. So this entire dinner is a total of eight smart points. And this looks so good, it's crispy, 
perfect, perfect consistency. So for tonight's air fryer recipe, we are going to be making popcorn shrimp. So copycat KFC popcorn shrimp. Cannot wait for this. We're gonna pair this with some fries and some veggies. It's going to be delicious. So for the popcorn shrimp, you're going to need some medium size deveined no tail on shrimp. So make sure that you buy enough for as much popcorn shrimp as you want to make. I have two 10 ounce packages so that way we have some extras. You're going to need some flour, some baking powder, and the original recipe calls for Creole seasoning. I don't like that, it's too spicy for us. So I decided I'm going to do a little bit of the Old Bay. This seasoning is so good on seafood. And then I'm also going to do the Dax Original Red. Again, amazing. Love Dax spices, they are no salt. All natural ingredients, nothing artificial. They literally are the best spices. You can buy these on Dax website. Down in the description box is a discount code. I'll put that here on the screen for you guys. It'll save you 10% and free shipping. And they have about 20 different spices. I love all of them. You see me use these a lot. But this original red is delish on any type of meat. So I'm gonna add some of this along with the Old Bay seasoning. We're gonna have these Alexia Yukon Select Fries. And then for a veggie, we're gonna have the rest of the Trader Joe's Soy Katash from the Lux Air Fryer recipe. So let's get started on tonight's dinner, our popcorn shrimp. So to get started on our shrimp, you're going to need a gallon Ziploc bag. Yours does not have to have Christmas design on it. And we're gonna basically add everything here to our gallon size bag. So the first thing is one cup of all purpose flour. And that's what we're coating our popcorn shrimp with. We are also going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. So go ahead and get one level tablespoon of that. And then we're going to add in our Dax Original Red. And again, go ahead and season it to your liking. And then I'm also going to add in the Old Bay seasoning. This one likes to come out slow, so I'm actually gonna pop off the lid and add it. There we go. And then we're going to give this just kind of a mix. You wanna make sure the flour and the seasoning is nice and mixed together. And then we are just literally going to add in our bags of shrimp because we want our shrimp to be nice and coated in the flour and the seasoning mixture so the best way to do that is to go ahead and add it into the bag with the flour and then literally just shake it around i will generally just kind of whack it down on my counter just make sure your shrimp get nice and coated so that everything looks like it has that flour mixture on it. And then we'll get this ready to go into the air fryer. If that simple, you guys, five minutes. So once you get your shrimp nice and coated, look at that, yum, that looks so good. I went ahead and grabbed my tray for my air fryer. If you have the basket type, you'd wanna get that ready. I grabbed some tongs. So we're basically just gonna reach in, grab our breaded shrimp, and we're just going to put those here on our tray or into your air fryer basket. I really like my air fryer because you, it comes with two trays, so you're able to cook a lot of food at once. So if you're someone that has a large family, the type of air fryer I have may be a better option for you, only because again, you are able to cook a lot of food at once. So I'm gonna, again, it's linked in the Amazon store below. I love my air fryer. I don't even own the basket style. Maybe someday I'll get one of those too. But right now, I. I am happy with the one that I have. So I'm gonna load up all my shrimp here onto my tray. If I need the second tray, I will grab that as well. And then we'll be ready to put these delicious shrimp into the air fryer. Once you get all of your shrimp onto your trays, look at how yummy that looks. I am gonna take some avocado oil and I'm just going to spray my shrimp. It just makes them a little bit more crispy when they cook in the air fryer, a little more golden brown in color. So I'm just going to spray those and then we'll get ready to put these into the air fryer. But these look so delicious. So our popcorn shrimp are in the air fryer. Both racks were used for shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the door. I want this at 375 and I'm gonna do this for 15 minutes and we'll see kind of what it looks like once that 15 minutes has passed. 
You can flip on the light and you can see your popcorn shrimp cooking away. And then over here, I did decide just to go ahead and cook my fries in the oven since I used both racks for my air fryer. So this is where a second air fryer would come in handy. So I'm gonna pop these into the oven while the shrimp are cooking. I just pulled the popcorn shrimp out of the air fryer. Look at that. These look so delicious. These are so low point. So my fries are about done. My veggies are in the microwave, so I'll plate up my dinner and then give you the smart points. So here is tonight's dinner. Look at how delicious this looks. So I have my soy katash with some spray butter, salt, and pepper for zero. I have one serving of the fries for four smart points. And then for the popcorn shrimp, you can have six shrimp for one smart point. So I have three smart points worth of shrimp. So three for the shrimp, four for the fries, makes this dinner only a total of seven smart points. Thank you for joining me in another episode of the WW Air Fryer series. These two recipes, again, you guys, so good, absolute must makes if you have an air fryer. If you don't, you can try to cook these in the oven or maybe it's time to pick up an air fryer. My particular one, the power of an elite, is linked down in my Amazon store down in the description box below. So if you're interested in my particular air fryer, you can find it in my Amazon store. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to the family. This is a series on my channel. I also have Instant Pot, comfort food, 30 minute meals, you name it. This is the one stop shop for recipes. So thank you for coming over. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one comment down below. Let me know which of these recipes, if not both of them, you have to try. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.